I'm Mark Thompson, the lead mission designer at Midwest Studios Newcastle. I'm here to show you through another mission from Wheelman, and this mission is called Bringing It Home. This is the second part of a two-part mission. The first part of the mission, you're tasked by the leader of the Chilos Canals to take his idiot brother on a raid of a rival gang. So we bust into the Romanian's warehouse, huge epic on-foot battle, we end up stealing a truck of Romanian goods, and we've got to get it back to the Chilos Canals HQ on the other side of town. So as you can see, straight off, the Romanians are desperate to try and get this truck back to try and stop me. But I'm in a huge truck, I've got the power and the strength and the weight of the truck, I can just smash through all of these pipes and eventually smash through this hut at the, the exit of the warehouse compound. On screen you can see that the truck has a health bar and this is tied to the exposed fuel tanks on the side of the truck cab. The power of the truck ties into the rock paper scissors dynamic that we've got on the map. Each class of vehicles, bikes, cars, trucks, they've all got their own strength and they've all got their own weaknesses, so they're always balanced against each other. To get away from the Romanians, we smash through the gates at the entrance of the Parc de Cudidella. This is one of the several landmarks that we faithfully recreated in Wheelman's Barcelona. If you can think of any Barcelona landmarks, they're going to be in Wheelman. As you start to get to the edge of Romanian territory, they start to get more and more desperate, more and more fevered about stopping you and stopping this truck, so they start to throw down dynamic ad hoc roadblocks. The cool thing about the truck is, you can use the forward melee attack just to smash straight through them. Another cool way to take down the roadblocks is to drop down into the aim shot. And this allows you to take out the cars that form the roadblock and you can just drive to the right. And again, it's all about player choice. We give the player a bunch of different tools and a bunch of different ways to achieve their objectives. In the truck, you've only got access to a handgun, but the Romanians, they've got big powerful assault rifles. So when they pull up alongside the truck, they're going to start wearing down the health and fuel tanks pretty quickly. But what you can do is get the truck into positions which allows Miguel, who's also got an assault rifle, to shoot at those Romanian vehicles, take out the driver, take out the tires, which is going to help you with the melee attacks. The power of the truck comes from its size and its weight, and as you can see here, when we're throwing the truck from side to side, it's just devastating the smaller cars, and that's the power of the truck. It's big and it's heavy, but the attacks are slow. As the mission progresses, the Romanians slowly start to realise that they're not just going to be able to take you down with a few cars and guys with assault rifles, so they start throwing bigger and more powerful enemies at you. So the key thing about wheelman super moves is that we say it's any vehicle, any time. So as long as you've got enough focus power, as long as you've been driving well and you've built up the reward, you can just launch into one of these focus attacks. The aim shot super move throws you down into the truck cab, and you can take out the guys in the truck one by one, before they've got the chance to take out the tanks. So when the mission route gets down into Port Vale, we're starting to leave Romanian territory, and they get worried, they send out the big guns. Two SUVs pulling from the side, and those two SUVs have got guys with grenade launchers in, in the back. Again, you've got to use the power of the truck, you've got to use the vehicle melee attacks, get in position where you can shoot at the grenadiers, get in positions where Miguel can take out the grenadiers himself. The music that you can hear pumping in the background is what we call the dynamic music system. In addition to the radio that you hear in most open world games, what we wanted to do to make Wheelman's kind of cinematic mood stand out was to have this dynamic kind of cinematic score over every mission. So what you saw there was one of the cinematic gems from Wheelman. We've got these all over the open world. It's not just in missions or inside missions. It's any time, anywhere in the world. You do all 50, it's going to start to give you rewards. At the end of the mission, you take Miguel and the Romanian truck back to the Chilos Canales HQ and you go, to, you go to meet the boss of the Chilos Canales. As the story develops and as the plot thickens, you become the instigator of a war between all of the gangs and this is just the start. So far we've seen cars and in this mission we saw the awesome devastating power of the truck. I want you to watch the next video. I want to show you how bikes tie into the cinematic thrill ride that is Wheelman.